Hey folks, the real estate numbers are in for May. I'm going to dive deep into the Richmond Hill market. Let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about all of the GTA and then compare it back to Richmond Hill. So what's being reported for the month of May is that all the GTA sold almost 10,000 homes. Now, when we compare year over year, May this year to May last year, we went up in sales by almost 19%. And when we look at average price, the average price of all GTA, GTA homes was 838,000. And that's also up from May last year, 3.6%. So across the GTA, sales are up, prices are up. That's comparing this May to May last year. That was 12 months ago. Let's take a closer look on a month to month basis. And we can see here since January, sales have been going up, which is fantastic news. And when we compared to last year, sales are much higher this year than they were at the same time last year. And when we look at prices, prices have also been going up in general across the GTA. Now, this price here of 838,000, the average price of all properties sold across the GTA on the Toronto Real Estate Board, this is actually a 24 month high. That's fantastic news. You're not hearing that being reported out there. I'm not sure why, but that's great news. 838,000, we've not seen that price on a, for an average for a month for two years. Let's take a closer look now at Richmond Hill. And, and just to compare apples to apples, I'm just focusing for this presentation on, uh, on just detached homes. So when we look at sales, since January, we've been increasing every month. And from April to May, we increased by almost 20% as far as units sold. Now this is just detached homes. So every month we're selling more and more since January. Now when we look at prices, uh, February's price was a low for the 12 month, but we've been increasing since then. But April to May, we dropped a little bit by 2.6%. And when we compare to last year, sales are up by quite a bit. They're up 64% actually, but home prices for detached homes in Richmond Hill, May this year to May last year, dropped by 1.5%. But let's look at this thing here a, a little bit here. When we look at February, March, April, May, last year prices went up and down. And we're seeing the same thing here for February, March, and then in May, prices dropped again. Well, will that be the same trend? Well, so far for those months, it's the same trend this year, which would mean that we're expecting June prices as they did last year to go up and are these prices in June gonna go up? We'll have to wait and see. When we compare Treb Detach to, to Richmond Hill, Richmond Hill detached prices on average are, are more expensive, stronger than the Toronto Real Estate Board that gets sold across the board there. Here's an, interesting, here's an interesting chart. When we look at months of inventory, well, when we look at right now for, for May and we compare April to May, the months of inventory dropped. Months of inventory basically means if we continue to buy at the same rate we're buying and we look at how many homes are actually available for sale, then how long would it take us to buy up all the homes for sale? And again, still focused on detached homes, we basically have for detached 5.4 months of inventory. We're in a balanced market territory right now. So, so it's going to take between five and six months for all the inventory to get sold. So it's not quite a seller's market, not quite a buyer's market. It's, it's very balanced right now, basically. When we compare it to last year, we're actually, last year we had seven, six, eight months of inventory. We're sitting at for most of this year, 
between five and just under six months of inventory. So we have less homes available for sale. We're buying them up quicker. The market is fairly strong, fairly healthy. It's, it's not jumping off the chart moving forward, but it's, it's, it's been strong. And you can see here, prices have been going up. They dropped a little bit. Will they go up again? This is something we need to keep an eye on. But if I was a betting person and I see the patterns that happened last year with months of inventory dropping between June, July, August, if the same thing happens this June, July, August and months of inventory drop, we can definitely see prices increasing. And that's the, the whole, as months of inventory get lower, it tends to put an upward pressure on price. That's the breakdown I got for you for Richmond Hill and in particular detached homes. I have a ton more data available. Now this is a, a, a generalization of what's going on in all of, of Richmond Hill. Depending on where you live or where you're looking to buy in Richmond Hill, neighborhoods are reacting differently. Depending on your price point, neighbor, uh, prices are reacting differently. Give me a call. I'm happy to help. All my contact details are below. My name is Santos Sessa with 3MAX Premier. Thank you.